When we paint steel the car, we're applying three chemicals to the vehicle. First, we want to clean the paint before we, obviously, before we seal it. So we apply a neutralizer chemical to all the paint surfaces. And the neutralizer neutralizes the pH and acid rain. So first step is to clean away any kind of contaminants that are on the surface of the vehicle. So we go over the whole vehicle with this neutralizer. And then the second step is to take a clay bar. And the clay bar is just a body shop safe, non-abrasive cleaner. It's going to remove any hard deposits that have gotten onto the paint, such as you know, rail dust or anything and kind of dirt or debris that's landed on the paint and maybe baked on there in the sun. So we're going to be able to get all that off before we seal the paint. It would make sense that you'd want to clean it, scrub away all contaminants before you seal it. So as we go over this, we're going to clay bar all cars. We don't just clay bar the ones that we feel like needs it, that need it. Every vehicle gets clay barred at PL to get rid of any kind of microscopic contaminants. Now even, this, even a car that feels smooth is going to have some things on it that we want to get off and we, I can even see a little bit of the stuff pulling off on here. So I want to get all that off and when this clay bar glides smoothly I know I've cleaned the surface. So combined with the neutralizer and the clay bar we're really getting getting the paint prepped basically. Years ago the manufacturers took the leads out of paints, they're now soft and porous and they need extra protection, they're susceptible to environmental damage tree sap, bird droppings, mosquito etching, road salt, all that fun stuff. So we go over this, I can take that, wipe that down with a microfiber towel. I want to make sure we're using real nice soft towels. We don't want to scratch the paint. Take our nanotechnology paint sealant, just one sec. The nano technology paint sealant actually gets into the valleys of the paint and seals it up. So I can take this the sealant, use a low speed orbital buffer to apply it. Now an orbital buffer does not spin. Uh, uh, high speed buffers, they, uh, they're used to correct problems on used cars basically. And this orbital, we don't want to cause any problems to the new car paint. Wipe that down with the microfiber again. We don't have to allot any hazing time. Again, nanotechnology molecules, tiny molecules actually filling in those valleys. Whereas a wax, larger molecules, they need time to set up to protect. And really are only gonna protect for 10 to 15 times that car gets wet. Or any time the painted surface gets to about 120 to 140 degrees, the wax is now dissipating and no longer protecting the vehicle. Our paint sealant will stand up to 500 degrees of temperature, and I'll prove that to you in a second. As you can see, it's nice and shiny, and that's great. Obviously, we want a new car to look great. But we're talking about the protection of the vehicle. <laughs> so I can take this black spray paint, spray right there on the hood. started on fire and with a bottle of our cleaner renewer that we give out to your customers when they purchase the paint and interior and rust protection you can take this off obviously a liberal amount is kind of a worst case scenario here But in seconds, you can see that's removed. Not even a remnant.